In this demonstration, I will show how you can add chord images to your tables. I've got two tables, and I need a spot to place the chord images, so I'm going to use a feature called a separator on the table. I'm going to select the group and add a separator. And then I'm going to tell the separator what column I want the separator to live in. Column 2. It can be in any column, but I'm choosing column 2. And now I'm going to add a chord image to this column. And to do so, I'm going to do it to the data view. I want it to be in these data rows. So I'm going to add an apply to the data view. Give it a name. And apply it to all rows in column 2, which is the separator column that I just created. I'm going to click on chord image tab, and I'm going to select a template. I'm going to use the spark line. Okay, and now I want to, uh, it's a little large, so we're going to reduce its size and maybe remove the styling on it, make it white. Okay, so right now it's just displaying the default data. It's not actually uh, mapping or plotting the data that's in the table, so we got to link that data in. So I'm going to select graph, and I'm going to click on reference existing data funnel. I want to reference the, the data funnel 5, which is where the data is coming from, as you can see here for my table. Yep, that's the table. Good, okay, now on the data source, I'm going to add a filter. And I want to, we're going to build a sparkline image for every row. And so to do that, I need to disable all of the rows that are not like the row that I'm currently working on so that I only have the data for the row that I'm building the image for. So to do that, I'm going to add a rows not like and use a macro of ds colon c1. So this is going to go and take a look at my current cell, which is in cell 1, and re disable all rows except for the ones that match, in this case, Alabama or Alaska, depending on the row which it's building. And I'll enable rows 1. Okay, let's take a look. Good. It is plotting the data now that's in the table. All right, I'm going to show you one more example. Um, in this table, I'll do something similar to what I just did. I'm going to add a separator. This time, I'm going to tell it to put it in column 1. There's my separator for, to hold my image. And now in the data view, I'm going to add an apply. All rows in column 1. Go to image. This time, I'm going to select a different template. Alright, that's a little large, so we'll shrink it down a bit. Okay, and now we need to, right now the chart is displaying the default data, we need to link it to our data. So I'm going to use the same data funnel up, that I used in this table up here. Um, I'm going to plot that data in this graph. So off of the graph, I'm going to reference an existing data funnel. I'm going to select data funnel 5 again. Good. And again, we need to add a filter and disable rows that are not like our value in cell 1. take a look. And there it is. It's plotting the data. And that concludes our demonstration. Thank you.